let's talk let's talk a little bit about this news courtesy of hypebeats regarding supreme releasing some nike air force one mids as of next season so i'm sure some of you guys know supreme have these like you know seasonal items that are always there i think they have the hanes tees the pants the sweatshirts the no the the vests the socks and shit and now in every season they have a pair of air force one lows that just feature the box logo at the back of the heel embossed at the back stamped which i think is incredibly chic just a classic all black um air force one all white air force one with a nice box logo emblazoned on the back of the hill very very chic very subtle very cool branding and they sell they sell out or they sell them every fucking season and it's fucking cool now going forward according to hypebeast they could be switching to air force one mids which i'm absolutely happy about because i have to say controversial opinion time controversial opinion time i think air force one mids are way more versatile of an air force one than an air force one low or an air force one high and i would go as far as saying especially if they're all white or all black i think the best shape for an all white or all black air force one which is the classic colorways is an air force one mid because i just think they just sit the shape the silhouette the fucking chunkiness the 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 form factor the fact that you can go with every type of pant and short and shit is just so fucking cool so i've always been the biggest fan of air force one mids i remember back in the day when you know we'd all wear subi jeans or rick owen pants and shit the go-to shoes with air force one mids even before maybe wearing rick owen geo baskets because as you know i know the kids are wearing rick owen geo baskets now and rick owen dunks and rick owen ramones and shit but back in the day i never really liked rick owen sneakers too tough I always felt like they're a little bit, especially the highs, they're a little bit flimsy and weird and too big looking and kind of looks like, they just looked a little bit too astronaut looking like boots. I didn't really like them, but I did prefer how with Air Force One mids, you got the combination of like a chunky mid high top type shoe, but you also got the sleekness of a boot type of style shoe as well. So it kind of mixed into one. So I feel like they were the perfect compliments, that sort of thing. So I am more than happy to see this going forward. And this is something that I would definitely go out and buy. I felt like buying the Air Force One low with the Supreme stamp at the heel was probably a little bit too much, especially considering the, you know, the price increase with the Supreme ones. But I could easily justify buying a pair of black and white Air Force One mids um, with the Supreme on the heel because I'd absolutely wear these into the ground. So it's courtesy of Hypebeast. It says as follows, Supreme and Knight go way back and with the Air Force One back in fourth into 2012 when they first collaborated on the Canvas and Gum Air Force One Lows. Since then, they've run several other collaborations, including the heavy branded Air Force One High, multiple free party, blah, 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 blah. Now as part of Supreme's full winter 24 collection, the Air Force One Mid may also receive a staple treatment. Sorry, staple treatment. Don't know images of the forthcoming sneaker have been revealed at the time of writing. They're expected to release the classic all black and all white takes on the Air Force One Mid, complete with the box logo on the heel. The MSRP is set at $133. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that, that, um, what you call it, that MSRP, I think that might be the retail price, regular Air Force One Mids, which is pretty cool because they could easily, if they wanted to, because of the Supreme branding, they, Supreme could easily, if they wanted to, they could easily just, you know, increase the price of these two times and still sell them out but the materials haven't improved or anything because i'm looking at the pictures and looking at the the air force one lows people that purchased them i see some guy in my barbershop wear them they're just regular air force ones with just the supreme stamp or the supreme you know embossed um sign on the back of the hill they don't look any different so i do like that supreme don't try to overcharge people for a classic air force one that just basic air force one sorry i just have a supreme branding which they obviously could do so i do like that um, would I prefer them to have a, a more premium version of it and give reason to buy it? Probably, but they probably have an easier way to do these collaborations in season by just having it be a regular Air Force One and then adding the fucking stamp after the fact, as opposed to creating a whole different kind of like you know shoe overall from the ground up. So I recommend that one. I understand that the Supreme and Nike collaboration partnership stretches back over ten decades. The first cab and now legendary SB Dunk Low arrived ten years ago. In recent years, they've been focused on more esoteric models or brand new silhouettes. In April, there is an SB Darwin Low, preceded by a first ever Air Max DN collaboration in February. That might be the only brand that does that, isn't it? If it comes to think of it. The fact that they've got like an ongoing um, collection or collaboration with Nike with the Air Force Ones, 
but then they also do special projects with not only with Nike but also with Nike skateboarding because they kind of operate individually, you know, separately. Sorry, so they're probably the only people that can kind of get away with doing like a separate SB project, a separate Nike project, you know, being able to pull certain models out from the archive, you know, help to fucking fuse a hybrid, whatever, all this sort of stuff, introduce a new limited edition model. It's pretty cool the stuff they get to do. But I'm really eager to see these when they eventually do come out. Air Force One mids, Supreme. Hopefully for fall winter twenty twenty four, which I'm looking forward to. The full collection for Supreme are the best. The only times you should be purchasing Supreme anyway when it comes to that sort of stuff. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs>